I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a baby owl for fall. I come right here in the center of my paper, I take one finger and underneath I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left I draw a curved line, come back to the dot, draw another curved line towards the right. I take my finger again and on the left underneath I put another dot, take one finger underneath, put another dot. From this dot, I'm going to draw a baby circle on the left, and from this dot, I'm going to draw a baby circle on the right. Starting back here on the left, I'm just going to put a dot, and I'm going to draw a wavy, 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 wavy line all the way around. Connect. I come on the right hand side, put a dot. And I'm going to draw another wavy, wavy, wavy line all the way around and connect. I take this little space and I just bring that curved line down so it connects. I come right here in the center. I put a little curved line. Come on the left, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, connect. I put one dot, two dots. All right. Come over here on the left hand side, we're going to draw a curved line down and around, leave it floating. Come on the right hand side, curve line down and connect. Come back on the left hand side and we're just going to draw one, two, three curved lines, connect on the left, come on the right, one, two, three curved lines, connect. I come over here on the left and I draw slightly curved line out, curve line in, in, connect on the left, come on the right, slightly curve line out, curve line in, two, three, connect. Come back inside and let's just draw slightly curve line one, slightly curve line two, come on the right, slightly curve line one slightly curve line two. I come up to the top inside and I draw a curve line connect on the left and a curve line connect on the right. I come back over here on the left and I draw a curve line up and connect. Come on the left, curve line up, connect, curve line up, connect, curve line up, connect, curve line up, connect. We're going to do another row. Curve line up, connect, curve line up, connect, curve line up, connect, curve line up, connect, curve line. One more if you can fit it. Curve line up, connect, curve line up, connect, curve line up, connect, curve line up, connect. Now, everybody will have a different amount of uh, curved lines because we all draw differently. Now, I come over here on the left and I'm just going to draw a big curved line down on the left and I'm going to come on the right. I'm going to draw a big curved line down, leave it floating. I come back to the left and I draw another curved line out and connect, come down a space out and connect. On the right hand side, curve line out and connect and on the bottom, curve line out and connect. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, I'm going to use fall colors, but you can use any colors you want. But the one color I suggest that you all use is make the inside of these spaces black. So you can see where you're coloring. The next color I would suggest that everybody use would be orange. 
for this space and this space on the right <clears throat> and this space on the left. Now the rest of this could be colored any way you want but because I'm making mine for fall or autumn I'm going to try and keep those colors going. So most of this is going to be brown. So I'm going to do this space first on the right, this space again on the left. I'm going to jump down and I'm going to do A, B, A, B patterns if you have enough. If you don't, you can just use skip color, which is usually what I do because <clears throat> I don't draw evenly. Skip color skip color skip color this would probably be a better idea anyways then once I've done my browns I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna color yellow now I'm leaving the space around my eyes these two spaces I'm leaving those plain until I color in all of these spaces using my brown and my yellow because then I can make a choice. So I'm going to do all of these. Now I'm going to take a look and I think I'm going to use my brown again but this time I'm going to color lightly, not real dark. You guys will do a way better job than me as always. So I'm just going to color this a light brown. There we go. Now, on this space, I'm going to do dark brown, and this space, dark brown. I'm going to do my inner side, inside yellow, yellow, and that one little bit, I'm going to do orange. Okay? Now, <clears throat> these are autumn leaves, so I'm going to take my yellow. We're going to triple color. I'm just going to put some yellow lines inside the space. Light to dark. Next color, orange. Put some lines. Not so dark or heavy that you can't see your yellow anymore. We want these to be like autumn leaves. And last, just a little bit of brown. You don't need too much to get it, your idea across. Last thing, as always, I'm going to use the fat part of my green crayon. And I'm going to draw lines, but they're not going to be real definitive because I kind of want a soft look. So I'm just going to use my green all the way across just to fill in the background. Now some of you might want to put your baby owl on a tree branch, that would be fun. It all depends on how you want to do your background. Okay? Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my baby owl all colored in, ready for fall. And I think I might do some pumpkins next. Okay, bye bye.